guys welcome back to another video so for today's video it's going to be another one of my hauls Ta -da! okay so as i said i'm going to be doing a haul for this video and most of the stuff here i got them from shopee so i'll definitely link all the products somewhere on the screen or if you have any specific shop that you want to go just comment down below so i could help you out so for today's haul it's going to be all school supplies and office this is what i'm going to be using for my online classes and i'm actually not sure about filming this video since it's already october and and I'm pretty sure most of the school started around August or September but we just started like two weeks ago so I figured why not because it's just not school you can use this for basically anytime so I'm gonna stop blabbering keep watching to see all the products that I bought and without further ado let's get on to the video So all of the stuff that I bought actually guys are very Muji inspired like stuff but they're very 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 affordable of course it's Shopee. Most of the stuff here are sold out pretty fast but there are, are other shops that sell the same thing so you just gotta look out for the cheaper ones. Okay so I'm gonna be starting off with the notebooks that I got. So first is this notebook. I I'm currently in senior high so I don't buy the individual notebooks anymore I just put in one thing so yeah this is just a big notebook i'm pretty sure this is b5 if i'm not mistaken this this spiral notebook it looks like this this one is the lined one and there are other choices and options you can choose there are the dotted and the plain one but this is the one i chose i'm pretty sure right now it's not as sold out as before my school started so yeah and then i got this one and this is a notepad in a5 I already started writing in it because, you know, my school started already. I like to write my notes down here first and transfer it on here when I don't get lazy anymore. I also bought this notebook. I don't know which shop I bought this with. I think it's with this one or the other one. I don't know. This is just a notebook and I thought that I wanted to use this for like a to-do or something but when I got it, it's black so I didn't realize that but it's fine. I could use like uh, those metallic pens for it and just journal with it but I really haven't started in it yet. I still don't know what to do with this but yeah, it's still super duper cute. Uh, those are the notebooks. That's it. That's the only notebooks that I purchased and the other stuff that I bought are actually like pad papers and stuff. I wasn't supposed to buy these because I still have some leftover like pad paper from last year but these two I didn't have so I just have yellow pad and then this one whole intermediate pad. Yeah these are super super affordable they're super cheap. Usually a yellow pad costs like 50-60 pesos but I bought this for only 20 and this for only 15 pesos so yeah that's a really good deal. I really don't know why I bought this because you know, everything like all the activities are all online so hopefully I can use this when it's face-to-face -face classes again but I'm not really hoping for that anytime soon because you know COVID. Next, this I didn't buy at Shopee. I bought this at bookstore. Long bond paper because we have a printer in our room. Oh! This one. Actually, this is an unwriting material. I forgot to show it. This is super super affordable. This is like 20 pesos and it comes with a clipboard already so yeah this is just a clipboard memo pad to do list i guess and it's super cute it has this like black cat and like cherry blossom inspired from what i get from it and yeah that's the design of it it's so cute um i use this for like when i have deadlines and stuff i just rip one out and put it there so it's a very handy thing okay so i'm going to be moving on to the writing stuff like the pens and everything because that's where i kind of bought a lot of stuff more on because i don't know for me to get motivated when it comes to studying i like to do notes and i like to have good nice pens so i'm gonna be showing you the muji inspired type of pens all of this all of these pens are from the same shop and they're very minimalist very very affordable as well even though the price is super like cheap and affordable the quality of the pen is really nice i like it 
I'm not super picky with pens actually, but I really like this. I bought two of these. These are mechanical pencils in 0.5. Yeah, they're just super like simple. Mechanical pencils are cooler than regular pencils. <laughs> I'm kidding. Next are the pens and I was really surprised actually because when I tried it, it's good. So yeah, this one, it's the U pin. It's just gray. They have other colors of this as well, like pink and gray. And then this is from MNG. And yeah, it's also nice. And this one, which is Shi Meng is the brand. I don't know, but it's just like this simple, thin pen. Next are the pens that I like. Like, these are usually the pens that I would grab whenever back to school hits. So this is my holy grail pen. This is the Dong A Fine Tech pen and I always get 0.3 because it's just right in the middle, not too thin, not too thick. And then these pens are from MNG and then they're just black pens, another staple. All of these are just black pens because I like it, like uniformed, like whenever I do notes. This is actually from last year, but I'll show it anyways. This is just Pilot Ball Pen, another favorite. I also purchased lead as well. This is from Pilot. 0.5 since both of the mechanical pencils that I bought are 0.5. And then I also bought an eraser, of course, also from the same shop that sells those Muji-inspired pens. This super, like, just really minimalist eraser, and it's just this really nice light pink color. With all these pens and writing stuff, of course, I need to have my correction tape. And this is a really good deal. So it has six in it. And I believe I only purchased this for only like 60 pesos. There is the other color, they have this like colored one and then the other one was white. At the time that I was buying that, the white one was sold out so I just got this colorful one. Okay, and then to put all those pens in, I also bought this simple pencil case. Yeah, this is just the box type ones. Before I hated this ones, I usually like the, the pouch ones. But I bought this because it's cute. But when I got it, it's super dirty. I don't know if you can see. Can you see it? Yeah. I tried removing it with acetone and alcohol, but it didn't work. So I'm kind of sad about that. It has two compartments in it. This is like for your the bigger ones, like the pens. And then here's like for your erasers. But I thought this was really cute. They had other colors as well. Okay, so I also bought refills for my pens because I only bought like one of each. So... For this one, I bought two of the refills for it. And since, again, I love this fine tech, I also bought two of the refills. Again, this is in 0.3 and the Yupin one is in 0.35. So yeah, those are all for the pens and stuff. So since I am writing on one notebook and I have different subjects for it, I wanted to divide them. So I bought like clips kind of to divide them and for me to distinguish what subject is which i bought these paper clips and these are like just teardrop shaped ones i bought two a rose gold and then silver both of these are from different shops that's why it's like in different packaging i guess just a simple silver teardrop one and it's really cute i don't know why i bought two i guess i just i had too much fun so i just i have these both of these have 10 pieces in it so the last writing material that i bought was this one i think i bought this for like 30 pesos and it came with 12 colors in it and these are just neon ball pens you know what this is actually perfect for like things like this because the color will really show up on like black paper i just now realized usually i like to use this to like underline like in a module if i'm using a module and stuff speaking of like modules i also bought envelopes for it so since we are all in online classes we all are following a module and personally for me i don't like studying while i'm using my phone the notes are are there i like to have it like visual like printed because i get distracted very easily so as i said since i like to print out modules i need to keep them on one place so that they will be organized so i bought two envelopes 
as well. This is just a basic pink one with a smiley face and it's just a velcro type thing. I already have my printed modules out and this is just a basic clear one and you could like label it. I also bought this one from the bookstore as well. It's just this folder again for like activities or modules. It's a basic pink one. Okay, so those are actually the stuff that I bought because I didn't buy too much. The last few items I'm going to be showing you are for our desk. We got this really cute pen holder and it's just a cactus and it's white and I believe they have other colors of this as well but we just opted for the white one okay and then the last thing for our desk is this this is a wired basket and you basically put anything in here just to keep your things organized so we have this it's just black and yeah okay so those are all the supplies that I bought I just want to squeeze in some of the products that I bought that are beauty related because I also bought them from Shopee and I love them so I really want to show you guys what they are okay so I bought this from Shopee and this comes in a pack of 12 these are basically colored liners and they have so many colors for a pack I've always wanted to try out looks and do graphic eyeliner with different colors and I already tried this and I really do recommend this I think I would say like the lighter colors like the white base types of colors like this one they come off a little bit patchy but I kind of understand because they're lighter but the other colors are perfect and I love it okay and then the last thing I want to show you is this set and this is from goodbrow ph i had to pre-order it so i had to wait for like two weeks for me to actually get it today but it's so worth it so this set comes with face and brow mist hydra aloe this is the brow and lash growth serum so I believe it has castor oil in it and this is actually why I bought this. It's been a while since I actually been looking for a good brow soap. So yeah, this is the brow soap. This is just the clear one. And so far I really like it. It also comes with two spoolies as well. So I'm wearing it right now and I could feel it really staying in place it made my eyebrows more feathery and fuller so i really am happy with this purchase okay guys so those are all the stuff i bought in shopee and also in bookstore and stuff i really love watching haul videos of shopee and really mainly school supplies i wait for that every year i feel like it's such an interesting and fun video so i decided to film this one today so i hope you guys enjoyed it so if you have any video requests for me to do don't forget to comment down below because they would really really help me out and if you haven't don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you're notified every time i upload a video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time bye